Hey guys, Jerome here. Looks like 6.0.1 got released today. Security updates talk about Band 12 released for T-Mobile, but the one I've been waiting for is a whole new slew of emojis. If you haven't gotten the update yet, you can manually push 6.0.1 through. I tried to put together a tutorial, hope this may be helpful for you. Before I manually updated to 6.0.1, I was running 6.0. The first thing you'll want to do is download the necessary programs and files. This is SDK Manager. I'll leave a link in the description. Once you download and install it, open up the app, check mark Android SDK Platform Tools in the Tools section and the Tools Preview Channel section. You're going to want to accept whatever licenses and install the packages. Now, I don't know if you need both of them installed, but it wouldn't hurt. Next, you'll want to download the Nexus 6P 6.0.1 image. Again, I'll leave a link in the description. 6P is codenamed Ang Angler, so don't download any other variants. Once you download the image, go ahead and extract the files. Once it extracts, there's actually another zip file inside it that needs to be extracted as well. Don't forget to do this. I made this mistake, so I hope this saves you time. I actually renamed my folder to Angler 601, just so it'll be easier to remember when I type it out in the command prompt in the later steps. Don't mind my 6P over there in fast boot mode. Some of this video is out of order because I made a ton of mistakes updating the 6.0.1. It's been a while, so just bear with me. Again, this is a zip file that's inside the extracted 6.0.1 image. Extract the files out of that zip. Later I found out that these files actually need to be housed in a different folder, but just extract them for now and we'll cut and paste them elsewhere later. After you've extracted the zip file, go ahead and cut and paste everything in the angler-mmb29m folder that's a level up. Basically, move the files to the first set of files you extracted. Once they've pasted, let's go ahead and unlock the bootloader on your 6P. If you've never unlocked your bootloader before, you're going to lose all your data, so make sure to back it up first if you have anything that's not in the cloud. Go to your settings and scroll down to about phone. Scroll down until you get to build number and keep tapping until you get the you're a developer message. Hit the back button and go into developer options. You're going to want to make sure two options are selected. The first is OEM unlocking and the second is USB debugging. Make sure both are turned on. You won't be able to unlock your bootloader without these selected. Now, you'll need to plug your USB Type-C connector to your phone with the USB Type-A connector plugged into your PC. You'll get a little marshmallow icon in the top left. If you've never done this before, you'll get allow USB debugging message as well. Click OK to continue. Once you're plugged in, you're going to need to go to a command prompt. Uh, you can just click the Windows button in R to get the quick shortcut for that. Uh, you'll need to type out the path where your SDK manager program is housed. If you need help with this, let me know in the comments and I'll try to guide you through it. Once you have the path set, type ADB reboot bootloader. You'll see your phone reset into fast boot mode. From there, you would typically type fastboot OEM unlock to unlock your bootloader, but Google actually changed the command. Now you'll be typing in fastboot flashing unlock. Your 6P will prompt you to make sure you want to unlock your bootloader. Now, uh, the touchscreen won't work here. You'll need to use your volume buttons to navigate up and down, and your power button will let you select yes or no. Select yes to continue. Once your phone's bootloader is unlocked, you need to go back into the command prompt and type out the path to where your image files are located. This would be in your angler-mmb29m folder. Typically, you would type flash all to get the new image to flash, but if you do this, you might get an error, error message like this.
Instead, we're going to flash the files one at a time. Remember, the image files that were housed in the image-angler-mmb29m folder need to be cut and pasted into the angler-mmb29m folder instead. If you don't do this, it's not going to work. Go to your command prompt and set the path to your angler-mmb29m folder. First, we're going to flash the recovery file. Type in fastboot flash recovery recovery dot img. Next, type fastboot flash boot boot dot img. Next, type fastboot flash system system.img. This step takes the longest to flash out of all of them. Next, type fastboot flash cache cache.img Next type fastboot flash user data user data.img Now there's one more image to file uh, or there's one more image file to flash if you forget to do this like me you're going to end up with this error message So don't forget to type fastboot flash vendor vendor Dot img. After this finishes, you can type fastboot reboot and you should be good to go. So you can see here 6.0.1 with a December 1 security patch. And really what I wanted to show you guys was all the brand new emojis. I hope this has been helpful. I really hope I didn't miss a step. I'm kind of scared that I did, but if you guys are missing something or you're confused, just leave a comment. I'll try to help you out as much as I can. And, um, you know, hopefully, again, this, this is helpful for you guys and you can get 6.0.1 a lot faster uh, than... Um, waiting for the over-the-air update. All right, guys, have a good one. Take it easy. Burrito. All right, bye.